As soon as I was old enough, our family would try and get under the water. When you see bits of rubbish in the ocean or when you see that environment be sort of soiled by waste, it's kind of an eye-opener. It's not just other people in other countries that have this disconnect with the ocean. It struck me that it's us as well. The thing with the ocean is it's very much out of sight, out of mind. It kind of doesn't really have a voice of its own and people need to be the voice for the ocean. Typically, we design in quite a linear way. So we take things from the earth, we make something with it, and then we dispose of it. So I kind of started with understanding that there were materials used in the wrong places. I didn't want to use virgin natural materials. So I challenged myself with starting with a waste stream. Over 172,000 tonnes of fish waste is produced annually by the UK processing plants alone. So as a resource, it's plentiful and it's ongoing. I then played around with with the skins and the scales, and I could see that there was potential locked up in there. So I then went on a quest for an organic binder, um, and through different experiments, found a formula that worked to create a bioplastic. So Marina Tex is particularly suited to single-use applications, and this is because it takes between four and six weeks to decompose in a home compostable environment. So I submitted to the James Dyson Awards because I thought there was a sort of need for this product and it solved a real world problem. The life cycle of the product ends when the user then disposes of that product. So this is the true design challenge. An engineer is a problem solver. So for me, a good design is something that bridges the gap between behaviours, business and our planet.